what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so we're taking a look at the xbox game streaming test app i jumped in tried this out it's been working really well so i want to make a video how you can get this get it working and try x cloud and also at the end of this video there's eight minutes of doom eternal gameplay playing on x cloud on the pc test app and it's absolutely fantastic so make sure you check that out as well so you want to go to store.rg-adguard.net and you're, this is where you're going to have to put in your link and these links are going to be in the description for you down below so here's the store link right here that we're going to copy for the game streaming app really simple like i said i'll have the the uh link for this and for uh this page here in the description for you down below so we're going to paste that right here click the check mark you're just going to wait for that to load up and then you're going to scroll down here to the bottom and you're gonna to wanna to download and install the AppX bundle right here. So we're gonna click on that, we're gonna grab that, install that really quickly. Now I had no issues with the initial install, login, boot up, nothing. I'll show you in real time here how everything happened. I'm just gonna do open with. You'll see the install Xbox game streaming app come up right here. I'll leave launch when ready. Click install, it only took a couple of seconds here. Now I'm obviously logged into my Microsoft account on this PC, so it automatically knows who I am. I didn't even have to log in here or anything as you'll see when we come up here. So I'll do an allow, continue, and there you go. I'm already logged in and both of my Xboxes are showing up. I never had to add them. I didn't have to do anything. It just already knew. So my account's ready to go. My Xboxes are ready to go. I turn on my Xbox controller through Bluetooth to my PC and there we go. I can move around with my Xbox controller through Bluetooth just fine. For ease, I'll jump over, grab my mouse. Now we're gonna check out Series X here in a little bit too. We're gonna compare Dirt 5 running on xCloud and Series X streaming, and we're gonna, we're, we're gonna jump into that. But let's go over into xCloud first. I wanna show you here what we've got going on. Now, when you go first go in, you're gonna have these settings right here. So the offering ID, we're gonna type in X GPU beta. Now, once I type that in, let me get a little fix right there. X GPU beta. Once I type that in, just wait a second here and it's going to automatically change over and you'll see X cloud load in behind me. There you go. Now, even though my controller is already working, uh, I click manage controller just to see what's going on here. Xbox controller next to pair. It's already paired, already working. So we're good to go. Now you have network, which there's not much in there right now. I'm assuming we're going to need a lot of different options. Once this app's actually more for PC, they're obviously tweaking their other app to work here. You have your account page. Our about our developer, all that. So anyways, let's jump over in. And what we're going to do is um, just for the fun of it, <clears throat> these games do launch pretty quickly. So I'm going to do a timer for Gears 5. We're just going to launch that game. Then we're going to do some Dirt 5 on xCloud and Series X, so you can see that. And then, like I said, the end of this video, like the last eight minutes, is a huge chunk of uninterrupted Doom Eternal gameplay, so you can see just how good uh, that's streaming here on xCloud. And this is just beta. This is just the test app. We aren't even into the full release yet, and if they're getting games to run this good at 1080p on the test app, I can't wait to see what they do when it finally comes out. And also, the potential for their 4K streaming, they're still touting for uh, by the end of this year. If that really happens and it's anything as good as what I'm seeing here, we're going to be seeing some nice stuff. So anyways, it doesn't take that long here. Like I said, about 26 seconds and we're actually into the game being launched from our menu. Now you can click right here and toggle full screen on your three dots right there. You can go back and forth. You can quit your game, uh, developer option, feedback, and uh, muting your mic right there. So you can always get to those with your mouse. You can use your Xbox button and you're good to go. And then you can see here we're in Gears 5, just kind of roaming around a little bit before we go jump into some Dirt 5. And everything has been working really, really well for me here. It's not perfect, but... Uh, Considering where it's at, the stage in life that's at right now in the beta and the test app, um, I really think this is going to be working great by the time they have their full release of xCloud game streaming. All right, check out a little bit Dirt 5 running here, and then I'm going to jump back in with you in just a minute and show you what happens when we switch over to the Xbox Series X.
right, so let's interrupt Dirt 5 running on xCloud there, and I want to show you, uh, like I promised, Xbox Series X here. Um, like I said, it automatically picked these up instantly for me once I installed there, as you saw. So we'll click on Xbox Series X, we'll get into that, and then we'll just hop in and get Dirt 5 running here, and we'll take a look at uh, both of them running. But I was happy to see this because I've used the Xbox Companion program for years, uh, the app to stream my Xbox One X to my PCs, and the Series X hasn't been able to do it. So it was nice that they added this here. So here we go, the Series X stream now running from my uh, Series X through the PC test app here. Now xCloud actually does a better job here, but my One X on the Companion app does an even better job. So I'm sure they're going to get the Series X streaming on this app down really good by the time we get to launch. But there we go, back and forth a little bit. Just wanted to give you guys a general idea. It's something fun that you can go check out with your One X, Series X, Series S, and X Cloud. All right, guys. So like I said, uh, that's pretty much going to do it for the how-to. Everything just works smoothly for me. But um, there's about eight minutes of Doom gameplay that I just think looks really good on this uh, PC test app. So thanks for coming to watch, guys. I really appreciate it. Subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, all that. Again, really appreciate it. Thanks for coming to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.
has been terminated. The demonic consumption of Earth has been reduced by 36.8%. There are two Hell Priests remaining. 